a little bit of smoke trailing out of the back of the zero car for Mike Rudder. Yeah, remember he had mechanical issues in the first race that prevented him from finishing it. He's in line for top five in points, so he's officially at the start here. Green is on Crash here. Everybody back on ice on all fours. Oh, with the day of the victory lane. here, so I guess he's all right. The, the two fastest cars we were talking about are wrecked. Uh, the 112 got a big piece of that as well. And uh, now I see movement out of Todd Haas' machine, so glad to see both drivers are okay. A wild ride here at the start. Well, it looks like parts and pieces of John DeGeorge cars over on the pit side. If you've ever wondered why you're not flat on the pit road during a race, well, there you go. Hate to see that for John and George. Hate to see that for Todd Hahn. Two good race cars torn up before we've even done anything. We didn't even get to the start finish line that time. And look at you, were right. Heavy damage to the front end of the 112. Yeah, this changes everything. Uh, the two favorites. The, the 09 definitely done. And they're, they're working on the 112. But I don't know how serious it is. John DeGeorge out of car number 32, sitting up, up on the wall. Here comes Todd Hot out of the 09. So good to see everybody able to get out. I mean, that was a solid, solid hit there. To get them a round of applause, at least uh, everybody appears to be all right. Yeah, I'm not really sure what triggered that. Uh, the 09 just didn't get going or what? And Kind of ran in the back of it. That'll be one we'll want to watch back on Speedway video to get to see exactly because that just kind of broke loose and four or five cars are all over the place. And looks like Brad Blanton crawling on the bottom of the racetrack. Probably just coming. Red flag is out. And it looks like the zero of Mike Rudder looks like his car has disappeared too. If I'm Mike Rudder, if I can get my car to roll, I got myself a couple more spots because there's a few cars that aren't going to be able to make it here. You can see what's left of the 09 of Todd Hot. Got it from all ends. I saw him walk the hood away, so at least the hood is okay. Uh, that might be the hood and the roof might be the only salvageable parts of that automobile. He went, for, he went for the wall ride into the grind, didn't he? Yeah, Stuck the landing. Pretty, I think the X Games judges will give him a solid 10 out of 10 on that one. Didn't really um, turn out the way you said it would, but you talk about the, how the Gatorade duels, uh, one's tame, one's not. Remember, the first mod mini race was caution free. Yeah, we, we got the craziness before we even started. Here we go, complete restart. Massaging on the body for the 112 machine, and he's got no body left. We'll see if that affects the car. But again, they don't just put these slow notices on there for looks. That matters. So we'll see if that hampers the speed. As right now, it's David Russell in the 78. Show him away. Goolsby and the Simons get together. You see Jamie Dixon in the 8 car. Well, he's trying to catch his breath at that point. He had the, uh, the funnel about to close in on him. You know, the front straightaway. There he goes with a slam in the door on Jerry Simons. And I'm telling you, the hammer will not stand for it. Oh, 
shoved it right through the 27 car. All right, we're getting ready for a restart. Your leader is David Russell in the 78. Jared Zebley, 34, Brad Blanton, and then Jerry Simons will restart in fourth. So, using the caution to his advantage. Simons looking for the lead. It's almost like a ramp effect back there if you get too far into the grass, and it's not a fun place to be. Thankfully, it's been rather dry the last couple nights, so we kind of swamp back there, and there he is up on the hook. Uh, so. yeah. Unfortunate, <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're both on the same page there, Austin. Yeah. <laughs> the 112 is still the car to beat. It's going to be hard to beat. That is if Larry Goolsby plays nice. Uh, we'll see if he retaliates. We will see. Here we go. David Russell, Brad Blanton on the front row. We are back green with the Mod Minis. Brad Blanton this time as he gets to move up with the 44 being out of it. This race is for 25 laps for the last remaining car. We do. Fluid on the front straight away. Of course. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, you can, you can see it. Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Somebody's going to be And now we get to figure out which car it is. I have my suspicions. So there's checking it out now. And if it's just water, we'll be all right. But if it is, if it is oil, if it's oil, kill me. That's where I'm at right now. I, I think the, the fans echo your sentiment. Well, I don't see much urgency right now. So. Race Control was asking the 78 to give us a thumbs up or thumbs down on track conditions. He thought he was being called down pit road. So it makes complete sense. The time it takes to complete this 21 laps is up in the air. Hopefully five or six minutes. We'll be done. I like your thinking. Find out if that happens. We are back green. Restart that time. Oh, oh, and he slides up. He almost makes some contact with the 112 car. So here's the here's the fun story. The 78 car last year was the 112 car, and Russell bought it, put the 78 on it, and that. The new 112 is going to be hard to beat. I think so, but at least we're on this one. We have a nice little race on our hands here. As uh, we finally made it to five laps complete. And that's the last out of this race. No, he's hey, slow and steady, but it really was there. Now the 
a six car way off the pace. I, I don't know if he's going to make an eight car off the pace. Well, if he can keep going, he can, pass, he can make a top five. Just bring it in. Bring it in. You got your top five, buddy. Alright, guys. This class has been all night. Yeah, they always go faster right before they blow up. <laughs> 78 car. Russell still hanging on the lead. Jerry Sainz. What a run from our crew. One of the most fabulous fit post finishes you will ever see. For this lap, as long as you cross the line, so that should that it's should all be the first spot unless he comes back out or somebody else. If I'm not wrong, we're getting there. We're almost halfway home, ladies and gentlemen. So we started. Oh, oh boy, it, it's gone from bad to worse. Mark Rhodes' car. It looks like radiator issues. Now it's bad. I sure hope so. I mean, I 
guess every one of these cars has an issue when that brake comes back out. He's not on the trailer just yet, so, so there's a change. Yes, absolutely. Larry Gould's be hanging back. He would love to see those top three get a little closer and all go for a spin on the final lap and come in and win. That would just be the perfect end cap of his nights. That would be. <laughs> My goodness. Two to go. We're almost there. Two to go. Excited to throw this final. hand for full midnight with all the things working against us. And ladies and gentlemen, he's out of the car. Make some noise for David Russell, the race winner. Put up the final checkered flag of the night. So again, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Hart family and everyone here at the New Smyrna Speedway, we want to thank each and every one of you for coming on out here. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Yeah,